you guys had a thing, have two songs on the Rock the Hub put on by the Boston Herald. Mm-hmm. It basically the, find the best song coming out of Boston to be written in the last 25 years. Mm. I don't know if you guys know, but you guys, there's four songs left. Uh-huh. Uh, you are two, Aerosmith and the Mighty Mighty Boston. I was actually, wow. I was wondering how that was yeah, going. Me too. Do you have any idea, do you think no, you're going to win? I mean, that's <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, I kind of got chills just hearing that. Uh... I uh, I had heard something about it just because James and I are big fans of, of the afternoon talk guys on our local radio station. So we'll hear something about it every once in a while. Um, but I had no idea that there were four bands left, that's four n- songs left, two of which were ours. <laughs> that's, that's really good news. Yeah, that is good news. What, those are pretty good odds. Those are pretty good odds. I like those odds. I like the odds. I'm a sailor pig and I lost my leg. So you guys played at Fenway Park prior to the Game 7 of the Red Sox World Series win. Yeah. Um, did you do something that they approached you to do, or you approached your organization? Uh, yeah, this year they came looking for us, and uh, they asked us to play for Game 6. And I was out of town, and so Ken said, no, 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 we can't do it. And they said, well, where is he? We'll send a helicopter, and we'll fly him in. And Ken was like, no, no, it's not going to happen. So they're like, all right. Imagine well, you getting lowered down yeah, right? in the Fenway Park, like on a uh, rope ladder. Yeah, right. Right into the green monster and fall off. I'd have to have like a cape on or something. <laughs> like on a ladder standing there. You know? <laughs> but uh, um, so then they said, uh, all right, well, if there's a game seven, you guys have to come and do game seven. So we gladly obliged and uh, played, game, played before game seven and then sat in an awesome suite. <laughs> above everything and just got to see the whole game and um it was amazing uh but yeah they uh were they they asked us to do it this year but uh we're happy to do whatever for the red sox you know because we're all big fans <laughs> you also played the victory parade too on a flatbed i heard was that just something that corresponded to it all? Uh, yeah, James was actually in Colorado for the lo- for the last game for Game Four mm-hmm. of the World Series. I had to change my flight and go. And home then yeah, he got a call <laughs> being like, uh, "You got to be back tomorrow for a parade." So you we, know. So, so we, we went to the uh, to the after party with the players and stuff, and then uh, got on a plane the next morning. To split. The parade was unreal too because yeah. everybody in town goes out to the and you go right through like downtown, so everyone's hanging out like the office buildings and stuff. It was unreal. And we had the whole bullpen on the on yeah, our yeah. on our truck too, so it wasn't just us idiots up there like, "Thanks for letting us be in your parade." Yeah. Like Papabon and uh, Okajima <coughs> and Timlin were all up there dancing around with us and stuff. It was awesome. The only the only bad part about having the three of them on was we were on this this long flatbed truck, you know, and so it was set up. Everyone, we were like back to back, you know, and then Matt Kelly's drums were here, and then all of our crew guys were behind Matt Kelly, so they couldn't move really, you know. So I'm standing out with like Timlin and Okajima and Papelbon, and I had this baseball and I had him sign it, you know. And I turn around and I'm like, guys, check it out. And then all of a sudden, like six baseballs come flying at me, and I had to go up to the guys like, can you sign all these too? So I felt like kind of an idiot, but what are you gonna do? Is it a whole band that started the new label, or is it just one member of the band? The label thing is weird. It's not what it sounds like. Uh, we uh, have an imprint. Uh, thanks, Ski. Lost my train of thought. Again. Uh, we have a. Uh, we have. Sound guy, Ski. It's like a, uh, like an imprint on the. Uh, or yeah, it's like it's our it's our own label, but it's distributed through the Warner Independent okay. Label Group. You know, so uh, the purpose of the label is just to put out Dropkick Murphys records. You know, um, and. Uh, so yeah, it's just kind of like a band thing that we started. Yeah, all of us. Just to uh, just to be able to um, uh, be a little more self sufficient, you know, put out our own stuff, make more decisions for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Two final questions we ask every band. Uh, the first is, what would surprise people most to learn about either one of you guys, the band in general, or other band members? We don't drink Guinness. <laughs> no, no, what would surprise you to find out about 
someone else in the band. Well, what would surprise anyone watching this to find out about the band, members of the band? Right. Yeah. You're saying that, that we don't drink Guinness? Yeah. Oh, yeah, people are horrified when they find out that we're bud drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the king of beers. You can't dispute that. Right, right there in the can. <laughs> Last question is, which of the following experiences have you had? Have you seen a ghost? Have you had an alien encounter or alien adoption? Or have you seen the face of God? I was convinced as a child that I had been abducted by aliens, but I think it was just an overactive imagination. But I'll say I've had an alien encounter. Kind of. Maybe. I don't think I've had any one of those things. What was the third one? Ghost, alien, uh, or face, of God. face of God? No. Though, uh... At one point in my life, when I was younger, my grandfather told my family that one day he was he was sitting in his in his his family room all by himself in his chair, probably drink. It was probably martini time, and uh, and he said that uh, that God spoke to him. Did he say what he said? He did, but I was too young to comprehend what was going on, really. So, you guys have any closing comments for anyone watching us anywhere? Uh, pick up the new album. Enjoy. We can't do it without you. You guys are the greatest. See you at Ed's minus the R. <laughs>